Hey everyone, Steph here. Today I'm gonna to share with you my full day fly lady cleaning routines and I'm gonna get pretty much everything done and it doesn't take as long as you think. I know this system can seem really overwhelming, give it a try, try to batch together some of the tasks and you'll find it goes a lot quicker. This video is a collab with my friend Tabitha at This Mama's House. She just started using the Fly Lady system recently and she has five kids about to have her sixth. And so if it's working for her, trust me, it can work for you. Make sure you head over to her channel. She's gonna post a video of her day in the life. So it's really fun to see how it compares from person to person. Okay, let's get started. Good morning. Um, I just woke up, it's seven o'clock. And today I'm gonna to show you a full day of how I keep my house clean, <laughs> although it's so messy right now, and just when I fit all the routines in. I've been doing really good with my routines this month, but you know, we had a lot going on this last weekend, and so the house is kinda upside down right now, and that's okay. I'm just gonna work at everything and get some stuff done and hopefully get it tidied up and back on track. So, seven o'clock, my kids are already up, my husband gets them up and feeds them, because he's amazing. Um, so I'm gonna get up now and get started. First things first, I'm gonna get dressed. Oh, okay, it's almost an hour later, but I had a shower, I got dressed, I got one of my kids out the door to preschool, my husband takes her, and I got the other kids fed. So, I got some stuff, I'm so out of breath. I got some stuff done, now I'm gonna start tackling this house. So now that my one daughter is out the door and everybody else is kind of settled, I'm going to focus on getting some of my morning routine tasks checked off, starting with making my bed. You'll probably notice that my husband and I use two different blankets. I know this might seem crazy, but trust me, we have been sleeping so much better since we switched to the two blanket method. Thank you to everyone who suggested that. Since I'm up here in my room already, I'm gonna tidy up a bit, pull some of the laundry out, bring it down and get a load started before I head into the kitchen. Okay, so the kitchen is destroyed. We've all eaten breakfast. The kitchen didn't get cleaned up totally last night. It's so frustrating. It doesn't happen very often, but it happened today, so I gotta clean up for breakfast and last night's dishes, but I know we started the dishwasher, so at least I can empty that, and we've got dishes to use, and I have a place to put dirty dishes. Nothing worse than if you don't even start the dishwasher. The first thing I always like to do in my kitchen is empty the dishwasher. I really, really try to make sure to start it the night before so that I have a empty dishwasher to put dirty dishes in and clean dishes to use for the whole day. This day is definitely an exception that we didn't get the kitchen cleaned up the night before. It's not a big deal, I can do it, but really, usually we try to get it all done. I just gotta show you this real quick because this is the best part of my new house and my new kitchen. Ready? So I'll just finish cleaning up these dishes from last night. It really doesn't take that long and I'll just wipe down the counters and the kitchen is good to go for the day. Okay, oh my gosh, <laughs> my hair. Okay, that's pretty good. You know, it's 8.23, so it took me about 25, almost 30 minutes to get my room cleaned, my beds made, um, I cleaned up this kitchen, unloaded the dishwasher, started some laundry, getting a lot done. I really try to clump it all together so I can just kind of get on a roll and keep going. So next up, the best part of the morning, I get to have breakfast and a tea. One way that I like to practice self-care in my day is to make my favorite breakfast and sit down and drink my favorite tea and just enjoy the morning and have a couple minutes of quiet before everything really starts to wind up again. All right, breakfast time. I'm just gonna sit at the table. I think my baby's gonna eat a little bit more. 
Oh, I think he's eating my food. And then we'll carry on with the day. We have some errands to run today, so I'm gonna be heading out. I do normally put a little bit of makeup on my face, whether I leave the house or not. It just makes me feel like I'm a little bit more awake, and it is also another way that I can practice self-care. If you don't like makeup or you don't wanna wear it, hey, that's totally cool. I hope you have a great skincare routine that you're using, or you just have something extra you can do for yourself in the morning. So I just have a really simple five minute routine that I've nailed down with some really excellent products and then I quickly do my hair and I'm ready to go. I don't ever touch it up throughout the day unless we plan on actually going out in the evening or something. Okay, everyone's dressed. Kids are dressed, I'm dressed. I have some makeup on, my hair is under control. We're gonna go to the library, we're gonna go run some errands, pick up some paint for a room kind of makeover that I'm doing. And so that'll be kind of the rest of our morning. I'll pick up my other daughter from preschool. We'll be back for lunch. So I pretty much got everything done this morning that I wanted to get done. The house is still upside down, but I usually tackle a huge power tidy in the afternoon with the girls. They can help me and we can kind of get some of this stuff put away, but we are on a roll. Okay, heading out the door now. It is <laughs> really snowy. Okay, we just got home. It's 11.30, so we're out for a couple hours, but I got the paint and I got all the things I needed and so now I'm gonna make lunch and yeah so I really don't clean up a lot during the day I do most of my chores first thing in the morning and then later in the afternoon and then last thing at night but I know it feels like a lot of stuff to get done in the day it really isn't just try to batch it all together it won't take long at all Making lunch, and you can see I always have my helpers right close by to help me out, and they always make a nice little mess on the floor, but that's okay, I know they love to be involved. So after lunch, I'm just gonna sweep up the floor, change that laundry over. If you have wet laundry sitting in the washer, consider this your reminder to go switch it over right now. I mean, really, press pause and go switch your laundry over. Okay, clock just turned over the hour, it's three o'clock. We've had a great day. I did some painting with my friend and worked on my girl's bedroom and just chilled and we read some books. Um, the girls are having a quick show and I'm gonna whip through this house and do my power tidy. I usually only do this once a day, sometimes right before bed as well, so sometimes twice, but one big one a day. I learned this from my grandma by my mom who said don't chase those kids around, picking up after them all day, just let them do their thing and do it once. So, I'm doing it once, it's a big job, but you know what, I had the whole day to just kinda chill and do whatever I want, so I don't mind doing it once really big. This power tidy is a lot more intense than normal. Usually it only takes me about five or 10 minutes, but like I say, we had a kind of a crazy upside down weekend. I was away curling, and so it was just one person on duty, and that's always a little bit hard, so it is gonna take a little bit longer and my kids aren't helping because I try to keep them out of the video, but it won't take long for me to get done. <laughs> the other thing going on in our house right now is I am painting my daughter's bedroom and so they've been sleeping in the living room so they don't have to inhale paint fumes at night. Oh my goodness, this house is just totally upside down. It's almost done, we'll be back to normal before I know it, but I just can't wait. The last thing I'm gonna knock off as part of my power tidy is my hot spot. And as you can see, it's burning out of control. I like to spend two minutes on this every single day, just kind of clearing things up. It's the space that collects all that random junk. So I just clear it up, put everything away, and you know, it'll fill up tomorrow, but that's okay. That's what it's there for. Okay, that's all done. It only took about 20 minutes. It's not bad at all. And it's just tidying up. Like I don't do any heavy cleaning. But this is a really accurate representation of what my day looks like and how much time I actually spend cleaning. So you might look at it and think, 
like her house isn't super clean it's not perfect it doesn't look like I could post a picture on Instagram but yeah that's the point we actually live here and for me this is good enough so this is what I do okay I've got a few minutes before I have to start making dinner so I think I'm probably just gonna sit down and read or maybe I'll watch my guilty pleasure Netflix show and I'll probably get started for dinner in about 20 minutes half an hour it's just chill time for now my kids love to help me cook and I always try to get them involved in some way and then they're so proud to tell their dad what they did. They're not so keen on helping clean up dinner afterwards and so tonight I'm giving them the night off. I'm gonna clean up this kitchen and make sure to get all the dishes done and start the dishwasher for tomorrow. Not having that happen again. Tomorrow morning, what happened to me this morning? The last thing I do at the end of the night is sort and put away laundry. If you've seen my laundry videos, you know I don't fold my laundry, I just sort it out, kind of stretch it all out and put it in everyone's drawers. I just find my kids are gonna make a mess of it anyways, so might as well keep it simple. Okay, so I put the laundry away, but I had to stop the video because my little baby, well my two year old, came in and he was totally naked and he wanted to help. And for a second I was like, no, you can't help, I'm trying to make a video, and then I thought, what am I doing? <laughs> so I just feel like today and doing this whole day in the life, which I haven't done in two years almost, has been really interesting for me because I did decide I don't want to have my kids in the videos and my husband doesn't want to be in the videos and he never has, but making YouTube videos about my daily life and days in my life is almost impossible to exclude my kids as you can see and I tried really hard. So. I don't know what I'll do from here in terms of doing these because I don't want to show my kids but my kids are like 95% of my day. So I hope you found it helpful to see kind of what I get done in a day and hopefully saw a realistic perspective of how I can keep my house under control and calm and peaceful and in a way that works for me without trying to be so perfect and get everything done 100% of the time. You know I didn't do my zone cleaning and I didn't do my swish and swipe. I didn't do my floor check, I might still do that. At the end of the day, it's not perfect. And really, I think that's what I'm doing here on this channel is just helping people feel better about their struggles and letting you know that it's okay to not be perfect. Oh my gosh, something huge is happening downstairs. It's okay, my husband's here. This is so hard. Um, Anyways, it's okay not to be perfect. I hope you found this helpful. Thank you, Tabitha, for inviting me to share my day, my fly lady routines. I hope that you had a good day too. I mean, 36 weeks pregnant, it's not gonna be easy. All right, talk to you guys very soon. Bye-bye.